it's Michelle from CanaryPlace.com and this video is about nesting material. That's probably the one thing I get the most questions about out of anything. People are always asking me about nesting material. So thank you for sending me your questions. I really do enjoy answering questions and sharing what I know. So today I'll tell you about what I use for nesting material. I guess I'll start with dog hair. <laughs> Since my dog is here with me, um, that is one of the things I use a lot to line the nest. Hens go about making a nest in two different ways. Outside they build a firmer nest, something that will hold up, and then they line that nest with something soft. So in that lining you want to have a really soft material. And I use dog hair <laughs> from my very annoying dog. I also use what is called um, cattail, and in a former video I called it cottontail, but it's not from rabbits, it's from those cattail things that grow around wetlands. That is what I use for that. Stop bugging me. <laughs> so um, I'll show you a little bit what it looks like. And when you use cattail, let me find it. What I'm looking through here is my bag of nesting material I just put a whole bunch of different nesting material in a bag at the beginning of the year I make a, a whole bag full that way when I have a hen that's ready to nest I just go in there and I grab a handful of different nesting material and you might wonder why I use different nesting material well I have found that hens you know for one they do like the firmer material for the outside and a softer material for the inside but also different hens like different things. So, you know, one hen is fine with using burlap and she will make most of her nest out of burlap. Where another hen wants um, more of the sizzle cotton jute stuff that I use. So, uh, let me just show you, first of all, this is the cattail that I was talking about. And this is just those little things that grow in wetlands that, you know, you can pull off kind of like dandelions and as you see, they float through the air. So. The one thing I suggest with cattails, if you're going to use them, pick them in the winter time because um, I think if you were to pick them in the summertime, you might run the risk of bringing bugs into your house and, you know, who wants that? So, I live by a lake and we have lots and lots of cattails here. I just go down and pick them. What I like to do is put them in the very bottom of the bag because if you put them on the top of the bag, uh, a lot of the time they get this little floaty stuff through the air and then you have it floating through your house and that's not nice. So. Um, I like to put the dandelion or the cattail <laughs> in the bottom of the bag. It reminds me of dandelion, so you know the way it floats. Um, if you put it in the bottom of the bag, put your other nesting material on top of it, then that'll squish it down and it won't float all over your house. Um, and it does kind of compress it too, so that when you put it in the bird cages, it doesn't float all over. And that's you know you don't want that all over your bird room. So I use cattail as one of the things. Another thing that I give the hens to line their nest with, this is just a, a cottony string. And I don't give it like that. I actually pull it out and I cut it into little strips. So I just, you know, little like one inch strips. I just cut, 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 cut. So I give them those little teeny one inch pieces. I've got a pair of scissors right here so I can show you what I do. I just cut it like this. easier than it is. Okay, so I have a pair of doll scissors here. Um, but once I get it about like that, then I just, you know, I just go through and I'll cut some and throw it in the bag or throw it in the nest. So about like that. You don't have to separate it. The hens will do that just fine. And they like to line their nest with this because it's really soft. It's a real cottony, soft thread-like material. I buy this through abbasseed.com. I think you could probably get it other places too. I really haven't looked around. One of the things people are afraid with about this is that it's going to wrap around the baby's legs. I've never had that problem, but what I do is I give this to the hens in the very beginning of nest building. So they've got that whole 13 days while they're setting on the eggs to kind of pack it down. And it does get packed down really nicely in the nest. Um, I guess if you were to change out a nest like halfway through, which is what I do a lot of the time too, I'll take the old nesting material out take the babies out, old nesting material out, and then put new nesting material, then put the babies back in. You might not want to use this because maybe it will get caught around their legs. I don't know. 
Uh, so usually when I do that changing of the nest, I use this stuff, and this I got through Quicko, and uh, this is a sizzle cotton jute cocoa mix. Um, so it's got coconut fiber in it, and that's nice and firm that they like to build the outside of their nest with. Uh, the jute is a little softer. The uh, cotton, of course, is very soft. Those are these little pieces here, and they just pull these out and line their nest with them. You know, it's, it's kind of like those cotton little things that I just showed you, the, the string, but this is more of a cottony, and it's not like cotton balls. You shouldn't use cotton balls because cotton balls are too um, fat and thick, and the hens have a really hard time turning their eggs when you use cotton balls. But if you use this stuff, just little teeny pieces of cotton that's already kind of flattened down, they don't have any problem turning their eggs. So again, I got this through um, Quico. I usually buy it at bird fairs, that's where I find it. The first bag I bought of it was $5, which I thought was great. It's a big long bag, about this long. The next time I went down to the bird fair, it was $15, and I probably should have told the guy, no, take it back, I don't need it that bad. But I bought it, because I'm a sucker. So, um, another thing that I use, which pretty much probably all of you have in your house is just a um, paper towel. You know, you could just use a, a piece of paper towel like this or toilet paper works fine too. And I just take a couple pieces and um, put them together, you know, maybe two inch strips, one inch strips. I just cut it like this. And then I just cut another, you know, little pieces like this and I'll just Cut them over the bag so they just fall in there. So what I'm cutting for each for the birds are just, you know, little pieces like this. Cut them in half. And uh, you've got probably a two-inch strip of paper towel. And it's soft if you use Viva, which is my favorite. <laughs> um, I'm not affiliated with Viva, by the way. I wish I was because maybe they would pay me for making this video. But anyways, um, if you use these two-inch strips, they really like lining their nests with that, too. That, that usually is a liner that they use. And again, sometimes you'll see some like that um, cattail and some like paper towels. Some will build their whole nest with just this alone um, or toilet paper. I've seen hens do that. So it's, it's good to give them a variety of stuff because then they can pick what they want and, and hens can be picky as we know. So uh, the main thing that I use is right here is burlap. And this is probably what 90% of my hens build the outside of their nest with. And all I do with burlap, you know, I just cut strips of it and then I cut it like this, you know, maybe in a half. And then I just pull it apart and you get these little fibers. Some people wash it first. I never do. I just throw it in there and I haven't had any problems. So knock on wood, um, hopefully I won't. You know, and I just put it like this and uh, this is what they usually form the outside of their nest with. So that's pretty much it that's what i use i use a, a a big selection because i like my hens to build their nest with what they want i found that i give if i give them a big selection of different nesting materials when they go to make that second nest after their first babies are oh two three weeks old it's less likely that they're going to feather pluck those babies to line their nest with those nice soft feathers which hens like to do unfortunately i have thought of even throwing some, you know, feathers that I just buy at, you know, a craft store or something in with my mix and seeing how it goes because that hens or even fathers will feather pluck their babies. So sometimes, you know, if you do have that happening, I don't know about trying feathers. I'm almost afraid it's going to encourage them to pluck their babies more if they like feathers. So I, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Maybe I'll make another video on it when I decide uh, to try it. Maybe I'll just try it with one pair, see how it goes. But if I can get some of those hens to stop feather plucking their babies and to use um, just feathers that I throw in the cage instead, that'll be really great. So maybe I'll experiment it and let you know how it goes. So that's it. I mean, that's what I do for nesting material. Um, I'll put this on the website and now people can watch it and you won't have to keep asking me questions about it. You'll have the information right there. Hope this is helpful to you. Thanks for watching.